This is the first in a series about our trip to the Big Island of Hawaii. Remember to check the airline safety procedures. It's a long flight, so get some rest. And before you know it, you'll be in Kailua, Kona. Unlike most airports we've been to, most of it's outdoors, including the baggage claim. So we got our luggage, hopped on the rental car shuttle, and we're on our way. We were hungry and needed groceries for the week. Here's my Kalbi beef ribs from L&L Barbecue on the corner of Palani Road and Queen K Highway. For our first day on the island, we headed up north along the Kohala coast, and our first stop was the Manalani Resort. There's actually free parking inside of the resort. If you look across the street from the Manalani Sports and Fitness Club, there's a small parking area. If you follow that trail straight down past the fish ponds and kind of to the right along the condos there, you will find yourself in a very beautiful bay. But do watch out for that lava rock. It is no joke and will cut you up like it did me. After that, we were on the road again to the next spot, but not before stopping in at urgent care for a tetanus shot and some bandages. Our next stop was at the nearby Pu'ukola Heiau historic site. Uh, a heiau is a Hawaiian temple where Hawaiians would make sacrifices and maybe put offerings. And this one is super important because this is where King Kamehameha sacrificed his cousin so that he could rule over all of Hawaii. After the heiau, we made our way north to the northernmost point of our journey. That would be the Pololu Valley Lookout. You can hike down to that beach. It's a mile down and a mile back. We did not do the hike. Instead, we hung out at the top, took some pictures, and turned around. By that time, we were hungry again. And lucky for us, there's a highly recommended, reasonably priced food truck off the side of the road named Fresh Off The Grid. Two thumbs up for this Kalua pork plate lunch. They also have an assortment of farm fresh geckos. I mean, fruits. Check out this chilled papaya a la mode topped with macadamia nuts. I think this was less than $5 and it was unreal. Shout out to the Shocker Guide app on these long drives. Connect it to your car audio and the virtual tour guide will tell you stories, history, and points of interest as you drive. And for a family with three kids, I love that there was a history and culture lesson on every stretch of road. Our day ended at an isolated beach in Waimea, where we got in one last snorkel and watched the sunset over the Pacific. <laughs> 